All right, so today we're going to go over how to find the area of rhombuses in kites. So if you look here, there's these two formulas. There's the exact same formula for both the rhombus and the kite. So we have the area of a rhombus. What we're going to have to do is we're going to take the first diagonal and we're going to multiply it times the second diagonal. And then whatever that gives you, you take half of that and that's your area of your rhombus. So then it's going to be the exact same thing for the kite. For the kite, you're going to take the first diagonal and then you're going to take the second diagonal and you're going to multiply them and then you take half of that. And that's going to be the area of your kite. So on the first one, it says, find the area of the rhombus or the kite. So in order for us to find the area of the rhombus, in this case, we have a rhombus in the first example because all the sides are the same. <clears throat> so we're going to use our formula. What area equals one half D1 times D2. So my first diagonal, now it doesn't matter which one you pick as your first diagonal. They tell us the whole thing from here to here is 15. So instead of D1, I am going to put 15 times. And then I'm going to take the second diagonal, which is D2. And the second diagonal in this case is 19. They tell us it's 19. So I'm going to multiply times 19. And we're going to take half of that. And so we're going to go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So 1 half times 15 times 19 gives us 142.5. And they don't give us units, so I'm just going to put u squared. Mm -hmm. All right, on the next example here we have, they tell us this is 16. Now they're telling us that from here to here is 16. So be very careful because if they were to tell you that the whole thing was 16, then they would either put something out here, like they did on the previous problem, <coughs> or they would tell you D1 equals 16. So in this case, they don't. So that means each piece is 16, which makes the whole thing 32. And then on this piece, this little piece is 7. And this piece is 7. So that means that the whole thing from here to here is 14. And so on here, we go ahead and plug these into our formula. So I'm going to rewrite my formula. Area equals 1 half D1 times D2. So my first diagonal, D1, is going to be, um, it doesn't matter which one you pick, I'm going to pick the 32 because that's the one that I worked with first, times 14, and then we are going to take half of that. So I'm going to plug that into my calculator. We're going to put 1 half times 32 times 14, and that gives us 224. So our area equals 224 units. All right, so then for the next one. <clears throat> so on this one, this case, we have a kite. And so on this one, they do give us the full diameters, I mean the diagonal. So area equals one half D1 times D2. So then our first diagonal from here. All the way to here is 24. So instead of D1, I'm going to put 24. My whole diagonal from here to here is 13. And then we're going to take half of that. So that's the formula for area. Area equals 1 half D1 times D2. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my calculator. And we get 156. And then again, they don't give us units here. I'm just going to put U squared. All right, so then this next one, now because this is a kite, the 10 and the 6 all together, this first diagonal, remember because this side's a little bit longer, that's why it's not the exact same number. The 10 plus 6 gives us 16, so our first diagonal is 16. And then because this is a kite, if this piece is 5, then this piece is also 5, which makes this whole side from here to here equal to 10. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my formula. I'm going to rewrite it. Area equals 1 half D1 times D2. 
So I'm going to go ahead and plug in. Instead of D1, we know D1 is 16. And we know that D2 is 10. And we are taking half of that. So we plug this into our calculators, and that's going to give us 80. It's not writing. 80. There it goes. No. Oh my goodness. Oh. Units squared. Sorry about that. All right. Now we have the next one. <clears throat> it says the area of the kite is 156 inches squared. Find the length of the other diagonal. So this one's a little bit different. We're working a little bit backwards. They do give us the area. So I'm going to write down the formula. Area equals 1 half times D1 times D2. And so in this case, they give us one of the diagonals is 26. So instead of D1, I'm going to write the 26. We are looking for the other diagonal. We don't know what it is. That's what they're asking us. Find the length of the other diagonal. So I'm going to leave it as D2. This one half is still going to stay the same. And then our area is 156 inches. So instead of A, I'm going to put 156. <clears throat> so from here, we have one half of 26. So half of 26 we know is 13. So 156 equals 13 times our second diagonal. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and solve for our second diagonal. So the way that we get rid of the 13, since it's being multiplied times the D, we're going to divide by 13. So then we punch in our calculators, 156 divided by 13. That gives us 12. So 12 equals D2. And that's it. So if you have any questions, you guys can go ahead and leave a comment, and I will go ahead and respond as soon as possible, or you can come by our office hours between 8.30 and 9.15. Thank you.